Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending September the 23rd, 2022. Pretty brutal, pretty brutal week out there. Uh, not, not unsurprising uh, that the Fed hit uh, the 75 BIP uh, uh, rate hike. That's okay. Um, but it's uh, the worldwide ramifications, the uncertainty, Russia, Ukraine, that's not helping the energy uh, situation any. Interesting, thing, although, uh, it's because banks, central banks around the world overnight followed the Fed's lead and uh, went ahead and cut. So now you've got this global thing going on and, and, and a global recession uh, feared by uh, markets around the world, the World Bank as well. Uh, China's economy is, is pretty much uh, a wreck right now also. So uh, consequently, you got a demand for oil really tanking and so uh, uh, therefore uh, energy prices, uh, as a matter of fact, were the week's lagging sector, uh, unsurprisingly uh, down not over 9% uh, for the week. Uh, the, now, also once, uh, equally unsurprising, uh, the week's winners uh, sectors, uh, consumer staples, utilities, and healthcare, okay? Uh, and curiously enough, Tech came in fourth place on that, so that's an interesting place for growth to be. I think I think uh, you didn't have as much of a hit earlier in the week. I think they had, they had pumped up a little bit, trying to um, trying to steal themselves against the inevitable uh, fall after the uh, announced rate hike. So what you really are seeing uh, here is the inversion in the yield curve steepening. Uh, I, I I don't mean to talk wonky so much to everybody, but what what does that all mean? Well. You've got a lot of money now moving uh, longer term, and so consequently, uh, the yields on the short end are, are, are really spiking on uh, the shorter end. So the two-year uh, shooting above 4% earlier this morning, up above uh, 4 uh, in, in a high mid to high 420s, it suddenly it settled down as the day wore on. But... Uh, um, so, you know, how did we do? How did our guys do? Well, we did okay. Some of our hedges, you know, they're, they were creeping up probably less than a tenth of a percent. But when the market's flagging, you know, two and three percent per day, <laughs> it's a nice feeling to have the, uh, the, the tenth of a percent, uh, two tenths of a percent up move. Uh, one, of our, one of our hedges up uh, oh, just, you know, one and three quarters percent up. So, uh, so those are those are good news. But uh, uh, if you're not, if, if you're having trouble sleeping at night, by all means, you need to reach out to us. We've got uh, we, we've got a plan that you can't beat, especially for your in-service 401ks. Okay, if you need help with that, let us know for less than twenty four four. $25 a month for less than 50 I was going to say, less than the cost of a lot of designer coffees that nobody's going to be drinking anymore when the recession fully blooms. Um, you can get, uh, you know, professional advice for monthly uh, for management of your in-service 401k money. Uh, so take us up on that. Uh, and meanwhile, the levels that we'd be looking for. So it actually, the levels that uh, we said that we were watching last Friday, actually took the market a week to get to so uh, uh the s p we we called last week uh, 3650 actually pierced that closed back up above it um uh, the the the, uh, the uh, nasdaq 11,000, you know pierced that uh, closed uh closed down your next levels i think that that uh, really uh, of interest here i, I don't want to be a gloom and doomer We'll have more on Monday's outlook for the week ahead, but right now on the S and P 500, you're looking around 3,500. On the in, uh, index, the, uh, the the Nasdaq, uh, that would be around 10.5. Uh, the Dow was really the one that took it on the chin today, closed below its June uh, lows, and um, probably you know. Uh, next stop, 29,900 pierced that uh, today, or next stop for the, for the Dow, 28,5. So when you see those kind of numbers, uh, you know that, uh, the, that uh, the market is going to, uh, uh, it's, it's going to be an interesting uh, Q4 and a tough end to, to Q3 2022. That's why you need to give us a call, okay? And let you put our heads together and figure out a way to find a way to win for you as we get out of these uh, doldrums here. Uh, some of our structured notes plays, a couple of those, uh, they were yielding 
fantastically, surprisingly to me. See, this is what happens sometimes when you have an automatic call. You don't want a computer to make all decisions for you. Uh, the, the banks had an automatic call on one of those that would have. <laughs> Thank God they did. So it went ahead and, 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 and pulled that. So our, our people pulled in uh, their 100% their, their of their principal plus uh, all the yield that they've got in between time. So that turned out to be a great uh, great play too. So um, these are how those are falling out. We'll, we'll reflect those in Monday's uh, outlook for the week ahead uh, on Monday. And until then, hey, our guys all have their money safe and, and is doing well through this. We're not sweating it. We're just watching it and we're gaining from it in certain uh, levels incrementally. If you can't say that, then you need to give us a call again, okay? That's about three times I've said that. So enjoy this last, last uh, vestige of summer-like weather. It's turning fall. The, fall. the leaves are falling. You have a great weekend and meanwhile, stay happy is the key to longevity.